It's time to get some Final Fantasy music back on the channel and, of course, not some trailer music, so I'm excited to hear an actual piece from the game, especially from the Super Nintendo era. That's going to be exciting. I asked the YouTube community, what should I be looking at for Final Fantasy? And there were so many comments saying Dancing Mad. So that's what we're going to do. It's a throwback. I'm excited. Let's go. But first, we need to hear from the sponsor of today's video, Colon Broom. Constipation is a real problem. Over 50 million people in the United States are suffering from it right now. Even with it affecting so many people, most feel ashamed to talk openly about this issue. I think it's time to fight that embarrassing stigma and get shit done. Thankfully, I found a product online called Colon Broom, which can help with your digestive issues as well as your overall health. You can also get it for 65% off with a link down in the video description below. But first, let's learn a little bit more about the product. I'm on their website right now. I'm filling out a questionnaire. I'm getting some detailed information back about my health, which is nice, but uh, I'm going to get an order placed and then we'll see what this is all about. A few moments later. Everything okay up there? Here's what life after you start using Colon Broom feels like. Lightness in your gut, regular bowel movements, protected intestines, better mood and energy boosts, and improved digestive system. So how does this all work? Well, it begins with pooping like a winner and losing weight the easy way. Colon Broom cleanses the colon and lowers the risk of colon cancer while working as a prebiotic and nourishes healthy gut bacteria. It reduces bloating, digestion, and constipation problems while lowering the risk of diabetes by slowing down the absorption of sugar. Colon Broom can help clean the intestinal tract, making it more regular than ever and also visibly improve skin health as well as lowering bad LD cholesterol and for all of that you only need two scoops per day to reach your dream body goals i should also mention that colon broom is non-gml vegan and gluten-free hook yourself up the order link is down in the video description below don't forget to use checkout code drumroll tony for an additional 10 percent off everything all right back to the video i just want to mention really quick that i did find the shortened version on youtube which is basically each phase once instead of twice which i think is going to work a little better for a reaction slash surface level musical analysis video okay let's go I gotta say the chimes sound pretty good. And so do the timpani for Super Nintendo. That's nice. We have big drone organ sounding, uh, just big, a lot of pressure, a lot of loud dynamic. Everything is just pushing there. And with the uh, the six note, boo -doo 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 -doo, ascending, descending, it feels percussion like, but uh, it's it's all just like price string related. Or supposed to be, you know. The raw entendre there, the pullback and the tempo, big, dark, evil chords descending, just very, very, very moody, very broad. But then uh, accents two and three, mm, boom, boom, where our focus of the chords are. That's like straight up evil sounding. I don't know. I Okay, I'll be honest with you. The only Final Fantasy game I played is Final Fantasy one on Nintendo or whatever. It was a long time ago, early 90s, man. Great game, though. It took up way too much. I remember my parents were pissed. They're like, go outside, dude. Go outside. Anyway, back a couple seconds. Obviously, minor key. Uh, very still um, predominant. Kind of stagnant, almost with the the um, the organ voice being the uh, the primary dynamic factor here, and the the simulated voice there, kind of almost sitting underneath it. It still works, so you feel like you're kind of in a scary rotting. Um, you know, the pews are rotting away. The church is kind of scary. Everything is changing here. <laughs>
obviously supposed to be violin runs there oh that's nice man i like how like at first i was like oh this has got this like super kind of eight bitty i mean obviously it's more 16 bitty yeah uh but then it be became very clear those are just string runs that's it's really really fun though <laughs> Okay, I feel like that was a really nice metric shift. I mean, it's not not exactly a metric modulation. We didn't go somewhere else. We just played with time in in between. Uh, this still was here the whole time. We just were had the uh, the double time on top of it. So that was a nice distraction to resolve and come back to that. So very very well done so far. This is enjoyable to listen to. <laughs> The breathing during that, all these big ominous evil chords here that, well, I feel like it's on the right side here. If it's supposed to, I don't know what it is, but it feels like breathing and it's pretty scary, actually. triplet roll that's not man you got to think about the era that this is in this is quite good so i mean is it's like silly as it sounds like i'm really impressed with the control dynamic giving us more sorry giving us a lot than pulling away and coming back again like thinking back to whatever the year is i mean it sounds like you know i don't know when i was the, the age that this came out i would have never been thinking about the stuff i'd just be playing the game trying to kill what's on the screen but it's got to give a lot of appreciation to this okay so this transition i think we need to appreciate again coming in because it's it's pretty it's so much different than the first phase. I didn't even I didn't even notice that um, but, but all the uh, offbeat vocal stuff because I was so concentrated on the triplet roll. Uh, it's also interesting to think about the difference between the gargantuan dynamic of the previous phase with just how we're just on that drone within the organ and now suddenly we're light staccato bum 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 very 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 different taste here symmetry and those two uh sequences they're kind of based in uh their base would be in a lot of dissonance which is pretty fun to listen to um i want to know nah it's i just i need to hear like a really big marching band playing this with some really aggressive drum on writing because that would be <laughs> so good man so good funny because in real life when you're playing symphony usually you have between three and five drums in front of you and if you're not if you're not hip to it timpani work with gauge pedals so you're changing the pitch of the drum with foot pedals some timpanis have um on the gauges they have like notes like maybe you have like the the distance of like a fifth like maybe you go up like c to g 
uh, it's very challenging because generally you're following, you're the, you were the lowest, you were the lowest common denominator in the band. Like there's tuba and then there's timpanis, you know, you're generally following kind of their part, but you're sporadic depending on who writes, you know, and what you got to do. But the, the responsibility is extreme though, because a lot of times you're playing on a set of timpani that don't have gauges and you're having to quickly tune by ear and like think and use ear training very, very quickly to fix your intervals and play. Whereas this part you hear, we have so many like drum shifts that are just like perfectly in tune and some of the intervals are pretty, they're pretty whack. They're pretty wild. So obviously it's, it's a digital piece, but I'm just trying to pretend if you're the actual performer, how challenging that would actually be. Now, none of that goes against the composition because the composition is very, very fun to listen to. All right, let's keep going. Just in the moments we were like, oh, this almost has like a Bach era feel, then the note selections definitely do not. I need all of that again because the vocabulary in there was very, very, very interesting note selections. Okay, we have a heavy emphasis on dissonance, and I'm here for it. Sorry, this is not back far enough. I need a little more. Let's go back to four minutes. I need a little more context here. Kind of a metric, a cellarondo. Very controlled, though. Ba ba da dee da ah, and it's totally deceptive on where that went. I just let's get that again. That was amazing. Counterpoint in there. I was about to say, man, there it's like it's almost like video game classical bebop a little bit. Just where he's stepping outside of some realms of rules. Remember everything you learn about, and once you start studying music, all the rules are meant to be broken, obviously. But you're getting kind of a <laughs> a dose of a couple of things. I went back about 10 just because this part's really interesting. <laughs> wild mm. Body dee dee. Cool. All right. So this phase, obviously a much different vibe with hints of the previous phases. Obviously we still have our organ sound here, but the key, the tonality is very, it's more of a major feel now, a little more joyful, a little more happy. Uh, the way things are working so far, have a taste of the before, but not quite back about six. <laughs> Pretty active baseline there. There's the switch. Oh yeah. Okay, I was wondering. I was wondering how long we would stay with a major tonality, and we have switched to more of a minor feel, and we're we're getting back to the previous roots. That's some pretty clever writing here. Uh, when the bass line, we have some kind of contrapuntal movement here where right hand is playing, you know, um, the, the, the melody, that's the kind of the repeated sequences and then bass line comes in. It's so bassy though. It gets a little bit, um, they kind of clash against each other just because of the timbre of the instrument and the way that naturally works, but you can still pick it out. I'm going back about seven seconds here.
A little more traditional here. All the six note triple stuff going on the right hand. And I'm not singing the right parts, obviously, but we got a little more traditional for a moment as far as the functionality of how the harmony and melody are working within that style of music. But then there's a couple little wrenches that we throw in here. Let's keep going. Resolution, man. I want to hear a top 12 horn line play that. God damn, dude. I want all that again. That was, I keep saying deceptive. Uh, it keeps deceiving me, though, because I was not expecting that whatsoever. Like a deceptive cadence within music theory is an actual thing. I, I'm, I'm sometimes I re say that referring to that, but then also times I just say it because, well, we've, we're kind of printing something that your ear is getting to expect something, and then we take a left turn within the music that you don't need any like ear training to understand, like, oh, that was different. That was a, uh, was that the opening to the phase or the ending of the phase? Cause you could emotionally feel that either way. Cause you're basically just, I mean, just start stacking, stacking notes with its sonorities within your chord and then boom, resolve to whatever hit us in the ears. Uh, it sounds really good for like super Nintendo you just have to keep telling yourself like this, think about the era that this was composed in the, uh, the hardware that was used during that. It's it's very very cool. I I want the stacking once more. I'm going back about 15 seconds here. I did not go back enough. I apologize. Let's go back to about 6:35 here. This should be okay. There's so much. I feel like we went through like six. We might have went through seven. It doesn't matter. It's very, very, very cool. And it's complete. <laughs> it's so unrelated to anything that has previously happened. And we have some asymmetry here. So absolutely. I don't know. I've lost track of this is phase three or how this is even working. But so far, by far, my favorite. very cool also you got to give some like props to i mean they you can hear what's supposed to be drum toms it sounds kind of funky but remember the era the, it, it sounds actually great for how old it is again back about eight seconds <laughs> Straight 
up Prague, dude. Like, this is so far unrelated from the, 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 the beginning of this. I can't believe this was in the composer's mind to jump to. This is just amazing. Back about six. <laughs> Did you hear the quality of the, the, the digital hi-hat coming into that field? This is amazing, dude. I, sorry, I was talking over the video. I was also saying the, the timbre of the bass, our digital bass, it, it sounds pretty good, too. I'm, like, so blown away by this. This is amazing. <laughs> Wow, that whole progression through that sequence. Uh, there was a spot we were at. Rado. I was expecting it. To, it was a flat two, expecting it to resolve to either minor one or major one, depending on where we're going to be. And then it just kept going and it went on for like another 15 seconds. That is just, it's really, really good writing. So just hats off to compositional and arranging values here. This is amazing stuff. Back about five. <laughs> get over that how good the five this whole piece all 10 minutes of this is significantly better than i thought it was going to be i'm completely surprised with this this is just so fun <laughs> blown away by how good that was uh the last two and a half minutes easily my favorite i'll be going back to that i would assume there's got to be a million covers let me know uh in the comments down below well what you think of this piece i'm assuming if you're here you probably like it but what are the best covers of this i should be looking at especially if you're if you're hip to all the phase names please let me know what the, that last phase is because i would be very interested in checking out what people have done so man that was a lot of fun for me my name is Drumroll Tony. Make sure to catch me when I'm live on Twitch. You can find a link to my socials down in the video description below. YouTube thinks you should watch this video next. Please and thank you. Click that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.